Ovin St. Preux, plus plus one sixty underdog. Fight. Jamal Hill is the minus 190 betting favorite. This fight clock is brought to you by Modelo St. Pru out of his patented Southpaw stances in red, facing the fellow Southpaw Jamal Hill in black. Jamal Hill went five rounds in his fourth professional fight, so he was pretty dismissive of any narrative that if he got extended in this fight, he wouldn't be competitive. Yeah, I mean, that's early on in your career to be fighting that, that kind of round, so that gives you that confidence, especially in a three-round fight. No matter what happens, I know I've got that gas tank. Oh, right on the cup, St. Proof fights on. Shakes it off. Dom, you'll see a lot of stance switches out of St. Preux as well. Yeah, and right now we're seeing Jamal Hill circling the correct way. He's on the weak side trying to get the outside of that left hand. It's a foot battle right here, South Paul versus conventional. And right now, Hill's trying to get to the outside to land that body shot in the left hand. And OSP just always looks so relaxed when he fights. He never seems to be stressed in there. And then out of nowhere, a head kick comes up and gets the big KO. There have been a lot of guys who made a lot of sacrifices for Jamal Hill to get to this point. John Grigware, Justin Andrews, Chad Pomeroy, who essentially lifted every burden from Jamal Hill, dating to when he was 18 years old, to help facilitate this dream. He's just having trouble Ooh. finding the range, but that, just as I say that, he clips him with a right hand. He's touching him to the body. He's getting his range more and more. That's that's a smart plan by Jamal Hill to go to the body right now. St. Preux measured as usual. Now goes back to the lefty stance. Three minutes to go, round one. Nice body work there. Very Hill. nice body shots. And I like how Hill's not rushing this, right? He's, he's finding that range, he's touching the body, he's looking to counter these kicks of OSP. And for OSP, I hear his corner saying they want him to set up these kicks. They don't want him blindly throwing them out there without putting something in front of it, even if it's just a feint. Get Jamal Hill thinking something up top to then attack the legs. Oh, body kick lands for St. Preux and a nice counter from Jamal Hill. You didn't see much orthodox work from St. Preux in his last fight against Alonzo Metafield and Jamal Hill with sort of a protest there that that shot maybe landed behind the head. So it changes it up when you got a southpaw versus southpaw. And the reason why is because the space opens up a lot more because their lead legs are basically, they're facing each other. And so it makes it a little bit different for a southpaw because they're used to going against conventional fighters. So it's throwing Jamal Hill off a little bit when you see uh, OSP switch. And now you're seeing Jamal switch to make it feel normal again. Southpaw versus southpaw here. Let's see how Jamal Hill uses his striking because now the whole look is different. See, now OSP has different looks. So it makes the whole game change. Couple kicks. nice kicks, yeah, man. Against Southpaws aren't used to having a counter low Good kicks return. like that because the man has the same stance now. So that low kick's there. Against a conventional fighter, that low kick doesn't look the same. Jamal Hill continues to invest in the body, has already landed 10 times to that midsection of St. Preux. And I believe OSP, when we interviewed him this week, did talk about that calf kick being a weapon that he was going to utilize in this fight. You see early on, he's going for it. It, it does damage very fast. It doesn't take long. It does not take many kicks for you to start feeling that. And you really see Jamal get off the most when OSP goes into his regular stance. That's where he's the most tricky, it looks like. St. Preux gets off the most when he gets into the southpaw versus southpaw, so it's, it's interesting to watch the chess game going on right now. Well, clearly Eric Turner wants St. Preux mixing it up and, and operating at times out of that orthodox stance. He swears by his head coach, does everything the guy tells him to do. Essentially, Eric Turner told him to stop cutting weight early yesterday, and that's what he did. Looking for the guillotine. Jamal's fighting hands, good job. Gets separation. <laughs> See both of these guys mixing it up well, not going upstairs all that often. So rangy, they both use their kicks really well right now, and they're both keeping the range and being patient, so it's, it's a kickboxing match at yeah. this range right now. 
Martin. Hill is going there because he's having trouble finding the chin of OSP the way he's keeping himself at distance. Late land for Jamal Hill. Round two coming up. Back live, round two of this co-main event between 15th ranked Open St. Prue right. and the right. undefeated right. Jamal Hill. Trevor Whitman, any major takeaways from either corner after round one, sir? Well, in Hill's corner, they were saying, take the angle. And I think that's been the key to him using his speed because he's faster with his feet, just like that when, when uh, uh, St. Prue was backing out. He's a little bit off balance because you're, you're turning his legs. The speed is a factor. But every time that St. Prue goes southpaw, he's timing his speed with the low kick. And he can set up the head kick off of that, but I do feel that Hill does have a little bit of speed and turns him very well, and it was good quarter work. All right, Trev, thank you, sir. St. Peru takes the center of the octagon here. And I'm wondering if Hill is going to just start trusting his hands and be a little more aggressive with it as well, especially to get past these kicks, because Trevor's right. When, when OSP is in his southpaw stance, he's, he's starting to really crush that lead leg of, of, of Hill. Both guys appear to land hard to the body there. Hill landed on north of 60% of his attempts in round one. Picked his spots well. And that's what I think Hill has to do. When OSP switches back, like there, you've got to get on. You know that kick is coming. So when he's in southpaw, you've got to get aggressive with your hands. Easier said than done when you've got somebody that counters as well as OSP does. <laughs> Yeah, we're seeing Jamal Hill's leg is hurting. That lead leg's hurting. You can see it sticking. He yes. plants it and then moves his back foot. Mm. Great read, Second. Dom. You're absolutely right. There were a couple back-to-back -back lands there by St. Pru early in round one. That body shot hurts too, though. Knocked his mouthpiece right out. <laughs> right. Oh, the... oh, I thought it was OSP. I did too. He I did too. punched his own mouthpiece out. <laughs> Oy, oh, nice boy. kick. Walked right into that kick. Ooh, that one hurt. <laughs> OSP is just doing, being a master of range as he does so well. By switching stance, it changes the range, changes the range. And then now he's, he's conventional stance, still uses similar weapons. But look how hard it is for Jamal Hill to find his head. Hill trying to capitalize on the slip, partially lands a knee. We haven't seen any real takedown attempts at OSP, so he's okay with just standing, it looks yeah. like, in this whole fight. Just stay on the outside, use his kicks. Ooh, he's got to avoid nice that, punch. though. He's getting closer and closer to Jamal Hill because we're seeing OSP keep his head straight up. He's not really moving his head a lot. Oh. And this is what Jamal Hill wants. He's got to stay oh. He's got him hurt. the fence. Oh, nice big right, right from Hill! Man, St. Prue had a lot of big shots in that exchange, Paul. That was smart of OSP to clinch him up, grab a hold of him. And for Jamal Hill, he's got to get separation to start going to work. Oh, OSP's looking a little hurt right now. What's helping Jamal Hill are the combinations. One shot at a time isn't landing, but when he throws these combinations... He's getting a little wild, though. He needs to get back to being sharp. When he was being sharp, that's when he was finding his success. This is what he needs to do right here. Pick his shots, get behind his jab as well. Guys, I think St. Pru can win this fight if, he, if he's southpaw. Every time he goes right-handed, he's taking damage. Oh, and it's a man. defensive thing. He doesn't see the shots coming. Ooh. And now a knee to the body, and now a knee up top. St. Pru trying to survive. I'm not sure the fence is his friend. Huge right hand there. there. Man, I think he's, he's out of here right now. Up. He's going to get stopped. He's done. Oh, wow. St. Oh, Pru gets it done. by Jamal Hill. And Whoa. a mouthpiece goes flying. Bro. Jamal Hill still undefeated. He said this week, Ovin St. Prue is just another victim, and that's exactly what he was. Sweet dreams. Jamal Hill gets it done tonight. Man, that's impressive right there. He ate a lot of kicks. His leg was compromised, but he found that range. The OSP started slowing down, and when Jamal Hill got him up against the fence, the hands started flying, and he did what he does best and got another finish. What a statement. Right here, you're going to see the big shots landed. Started with this right hand, and then he just started unleashing combinations. Jamal Hill, I mean, right here, left hand, right hand, mm -hmm. straight. That one really hurt him. And then he started, you're seeing just the onslaught here of nonstop combos. He throws that knee. That hurt him to the body. Throws it to the head again. And it's just pure aggressiveness and domination, as he said he wanted to do. High kick. And this is just the, finish, the finishing combo right here. OSP is hurt. Doesn't know what to do. Doesn't know where he's at. Jamal Hill. 
finishes him. Yeah, and this you is start a statement. turning your back, I mean, the ref is going to come in there and intervene. Yeah, nice job by Jason Herzog to prevent any further damage for Ovin St. Pru. But Jamal Hill did not miss a whole lot tonight. To make it official is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jason Herzog has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 37 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Jamal Sweet Dreams Hill.